Let's get back to our commitment coverage. Let's take a look at the results right now for District 4, a race between Phil Pluckbaum and incumbent Katie Valenzuela. And as you can see right now, Phil Pluckbaum with a big, significant lead right there. Also, let's take a look at the results for District 2, which is currently without a representative since Sean Lilloy's resignation. Roger Dickinson with the lead so far, at least a full-time representative there. Yes. And joining us this morning to talk more about the race from last night is, of course, Sacramento Mayor Daryl Sandberg. Thank you so much for your time. Always. Um, and again, I know you know this District 2 uh, race all too well. Uh, Mr. Dickinson, might be returning to public office. Your thoughts? Well, I've endorsed him, and so yeah. I'm really happy to see the result. Um, the district needs good, competent leadership, and I think Roger Dickinson would bring that decades of, of good service and history. He knows how to get the job done. All right, let's talk about uh, the seat that you currently fill. We're going to talk about the mayor's race here in Sacramento. At this point, very tight race uh, for the two who end up making it to November. What changes between now and then in terms of your campaign? How do you change and maybe even just make any slight adjustments between how well, you it, run? It really depends upon who the two are. Yeah. I mean, um, and it's easy to overgeneralize, but um, Steve Hansen and Richard Pan are more the business-oriented candidates. Yeah. Kevin McCarty and Flojan Kofer, you'd put more in the progressive camp. So if it is, for example, Pan and Hansen, we don't know, they're, yeah, they're the top currently two the top now. Two. Yeah then they're gonna to have to think about how they appeal to some of the more progressive voters, the McCarty and Kofer voters, which is over 40%. Now, if it's one of the progressives against one of the business candidates, then it's set up as a, as a, a different kind of a fight. And if it's the two progressive candidates, well then they're gonna to have to say, ask themselves, how do they appeal some to um, the, the business community and those maybe who tend more law and order. So sure. the city is uh, both united but, but it also shows a pretty clear division um, about what people want and what people think, and that's, that's a good thing. We'll yeah. see how it comes out. Absolutely. Uh, early returns so far, not so promising for Measure C. Of course, that would increase a uh, business operations tax. What are some of the other options now that the city can look at, especially when it comes to balancing the budgets? Well, it was Measure C, I think. Um, there were some mistakes, and, uh, and I didn't think it was gonna pass. Um, but it's not embedded in our budget, so that's the good news. We do have a deficit, and we're working hard on it. Um, you know, I've led through worse deficits um, when I was the state senate leader, and we got through it. And we'll do it here, too. It's going to require uh, some creativity and some discipline in terms of cutting some of the spending. Mm -hmm. um, look, it, a lot of the spending is that we uh, have, have given modest pay raises to our hardworking city employees, including police officers and firefighters. Yeah. And so, um, you know, this thing ebbs and flows, but we will balance the budget. I'm is confident. that one of your top priorities before you head it out? It is. Again, you got a few more months left. I got nine months left, yeah. and ba balancing the budget is definitely one of my priorities. In addition to launching uh, the Old Sacramento Waterfront Initiative, finishing our work on the rail yards, regional youth sports facility, uh, continuing to build the foundation around reducing homelessness, a lot more to do. All right, Mayor Steinberg, thank you so much for your time again. I know you got a busy nine months ahead, so we appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mike.